Houthi rebels who are backed by Iran. The action follows U.S. bombings in Iraq and Syria, retaliation for the killing of three American soldiers at a remote outpost in Jordan last weekend. This video broadcast on Syrian TV reports to show the immediate aftermath of the U.S. strikes against Iran's Revolutionary Guard and militia targets in Iraq and Syria on Friday. The Defense Department says it hit a total of seven sites, including command and control centers, weapons depots, and drone storage facilities. At his first public appearance since the U.S. retaliated, President Biden visited his campaign headquarters in Wilmington. Look, I'm feeling good about where we are. I really am. Where he talked about the battle for the White House, but made no mention of the fight in the Middle East. The U.S. action came five days after an Iranian-backed group struck a U.S. military outpost in Jordan, injuring 40 and killing Army Reserve soldiers Will Rivers, Brianna Moffitt, and Kennedy Sanders. But the U.S. did not hit targets inside Iran. It would be foolish for the United States to be involved in another war in the Middle East. The Iranian foreign minister today condemned the strikes and said they will lead to, quote, the flames of resistance. But the delayed response has drawn sharp criticism from Republicans, who say it gave Iranian leaders time to leave or go to ground. Uh, we let Iran's leaders hightail it back to Iran from Syria and Iraq. So I, I suspect we did not kill many key Iranian leaders in 